Hello and thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Pickleball Pick Apart. My name is Rory. I take pickleball games off of YouTube and I pick apart the play on the court. Watching my videos will help make you a better pickleball player. In my opinion, the most important shot in pickleball is the third shot. You must be able to hit a third shot that allows you to move forward on the court. Whether it be a third shot drop or a third shot drive, you must be able to hit a shot from the service line that will allow you to move forward. Does a third shot have to be perfect so you can move all the way to the non-volley zone? No, it does not. But the third shot, the fifth shot, the seventh shot, and so on should allow you to move forward so you can eventually make it all the way to the non-volley zone. That means you have to be able to defend in the transition zone and reset balls into the kitchen in order to move forward. Can these players playing in a gold medal match hit shots that allow them to move forward? Watch and find out. A big thank you to the YouTube channel Landon Wilson for posting this video. Check out his YouTube channel and subscribe. Let's go. This game was played at the Missouri Pickleball Club in Fenton, Missouri. It looks like a very nice facility. Here are the players. The player serving the ball, her name is Kenzie. Her duper rating is 3.3. Her partner is Landon. His duper rating is 4.2. The players in the near court, the female player is Taylor. Her duper is 3.6. Her partner is Dawson, and his duper is 4.0. This is the gold medal match, and what has happened up to this point, they did play a round robin. Taylor and Dawson went undefeated. Kenzie and Landon lost a game, so that means that Kenzie and Landon will have to win first a best two out of three match. Then if they do so, one game to 15 will be played, and the winner of that game will take home the gold medal. I'm going to take a close look at the shots these players hit to allow them to move forward. That was a nice third shot. It allowed her to move all the way to the non-volley zone, so nice job doing that. All right, just cannot get that with her backhand. Let's see what they have with the third shot. Okay, so that shot is just popped up. As you can see, she's having to stop a few feet inside the court and do a split step here to defend. What happens here, she does it again, and that time she actually backed up all the way outside of the court. Again, she cannot move up because she is not hitting the ball into the kitchen and allowing it to drop there, so she can move up. They are in a defensive position. Their opponents are at the non-volley zone, and their opponents should definitely win this point. And they did, simply because they did not hit an effective enough shot to move them to move forward. She tried that time, but she hit that as she was falling away. Let's look here. This is a nice return. She's falling away, and she just cannot hit the ball over the net. If you can defend in the transition zone, it's okay to hit the ball just a little bit too high. The thing that you don't want to do is to hit the third shot into the net because at that point, the point is over. You've got to get it over the net. Okay, here comes Landon with an opportunity to hit a third shot that will allow he and his partner to move up and he hits his third shot into the net. Here comes another opportunity. Is he going to drive it again? It looks like he is. Let's see if he can get it over the net this time. Yes, but she's just waiting for it. That hits the line, and the point was almost over, but that's a good get. Okay, so look what's happening here. Now Landon and Kinsey are on defense and their opponents are at the non-volley zone. So in this case, Landon and Kinsey should lose this point unless they can reset the ball and move forward. Right in his put-away zone, keep him back of the court. Oh, instead he tries a little cute shot there. They're having to move forward to hit this. I'm thinking they're probably going to pop this ball up. Yep, goodbye. It worked out. I think they probably should have kept him at the back of the court, but that shot did work. Now, here comes the third shot again. Can she hit 
an effective third shot in order to move forward. Almost, can't quite do it. She did not move one step into the court and she hits the fifth shot into the net. Again, that is a situation where you have got to get your third shot and your fifth shot and your seventh shot over the net. Here we go again. She has another opportunity. Nope, just cannot do it. Now they're almost there. Um, no, just missed that shot. Kenzie stuck at the back of the court. Can she reset this ball? She's not going to even try. She's going to try to hit a backhand as hard as she possibly can. And look where her opponents are. They are at the non-volley zone. So this is not a good idea. Every shot you hit from the third shot on should be a shot that allows you to move forward. And that shot did not. And the point is over. All right, Landon, let's see what you got. Are you going to drive this shot? Yep, and he got, well, actually, that went out of the court. Oh, hit it over her head with the lob there. That worked. All right, come on, Taylor. Let's hit a shot that allows you to move forward. Nope. Come on, nope. See, this is just, man, there you go. Finally, nice job. Goodbye. So let's go back and take a look at this. They did not give up, which is really good. So here's the third shot. Hit straight up, cannot move forward. Fifth shot, hit straight up, cannot move forward. Finally, on the seventh shot, he resets the ball into the kitchen. Now they can move forward. But what happens is they're hitting up on the ball instead of trying to reset the ball into the kitchen. And when you do that, you simply get in trouble because the put away is just too easy. Oh, that ball was going out of the court. He gets the point anyway, but let's go back and take a look at this. Taylor is a tall guy. I'm thinking he's probably 6'2". Watch where Landon hits this ball. Look at this. It's above his head. That ball is sailing out of the court. He sticks his paddle up anyway. Now I realize he hit the ball into the court, but he could have easily hit this out of the court. Just no reason to swing there. Get your third shot over the net and give yourself a chance. Can't move up. Can't move up again. Hits it out of the court. Here's another opportunity. Oh, he got the roll of the tape there. Yeah, just can't hit it high. Okay, so what's happening here is because Kinsey and Landon realize that Taylor cannot hit a third shot drop and she's going to pop the ball up like she has been doing. And Taylor and uh, Dawson are not going to be, be able to move forward. They are hitting every return to her. Now that was great. Nice get. Nice point. Hits the ball into the net. That was a good shot right there by Landon. Drove it. Oh, nice get by Landon. All right, so Landon is starting to power the game up, hitting more drives now.
and that falls inside the court. That's a good shot because it looks to me like Dawson is really tall, and it's difficult to hit it over his head, but they were able to. Another third shot into the net. Wow. Great shot. And that fell on the court. You just can't move up. She just cannot move up. She's trying her hardest, but she cannot get the ball to fall into the kitchen. That's the drive right there. And that's put away. So at this point, Landon's power is starting to overtake Taylor and Dawson. And that's out of the court. Nice job right there by Taylor. Put it in the middle of the court. Here's something I don't agree with. I don't like the fact that Taylor and Dawson are stacking. I realize that Dawson wants to have the forehand in the middle of the court, but watch what happens here. The ball is served. Taylor returns it, and she's just not quick enough getting to the front of the court. They hit it to her, she just can't get her paddle on it in time effectively enough because she took too long to move across the court. That ball's hit out of the court for the unforced error. Again, they are returning the ball to Taylor almost every time. Why are they doing that? Because she hits it right into their put-away zone. Now that was good right there. They were able to move up, and actually that fifth shot by Taylor was really good. There's the third shot, not good. The fifth shot, really good. Let's see what happens here. Again, they're hitting it to Taylor. What is she going to do? She's going to drop it in the kitchen for the perfect third shot. It allows her to move to the center of the court. Can she do a split step, defend here, and hit the fifth shot into the kitchen? This is very important here to watch what she does. Let's see if she drops it or if she drives it. She dropped it, so that is excellent. Good for her. But she misses the seventh shot. Again, straight up, popped up. They just could not move forward. You cannot win from the back of the court or from the transition zone if you're on defense the majority of the time. That's a great shot right there by Landon. That ball's out of the court, and that gives Landon and Kenzie a free point. They are now ahead 9-2. to two. And that sails out of the court. So this is what I call just a wasted third shot. And let me show you why. Here we go. He's just going to sit right here and wail on this ball. Even if he gets it over the net and doesn't sail it out of the court, Taylor, I'm sorry, Dawson is just sitting there waiting for it. But he hits it out of the court by about five feet. Sorry, guys, but I call that a wasted third shot. And now, look at this shot by Kinsey. Just not good. And what happens? Taylor hits it out of the court. Another free point for Landon, like they really needed one. And that is the end of that game. 11-2. to two, Not even close. And the reason why Kinsey and Landon won is because Taylor and Dawson just had a very difficult time hitting third shots, hitting fifth shots, and hitting seventh shots that allowed them to move forward. Landon and Kinsey win the first game. That means they will have to win one out of the next two games to force a deciding game 
that will be played to 15. Let's see if they can get the job done. Yep, he's gone with the power there, and Dawson cannot handle it. He's going to go ahead and take this shot. Goodbye. So one thing that um, Landon is doing that Dawson is not doing is Landon is moving over and poaching the balls from his partner, whereas Dawson is letting Taylor take all of the third shots. Let's see if he starts to poach. Oh, she just missed that. Nice shot. I'm not sure what happened there. You just can't hit a shot like that. Power game by Landon. Gonna drive it again. It's a nice job right there by Kenzie moving forward. And he puts the ball away. It hit the top of the tape, allowed him to move forward. And the power game, again, is working for Landon and Kinsey at 6-2. There's that wasted third shot. Watch this. Whether you're driving the ball or dropping the ball on the third shot, make sure you get it over the net. Nice job that time by Taylor and Dawson with the reset into the kitchen. Nice job here. Power. For that entire point, Dawson and Taylor were in the transition zone. Take a look at what happened. Here comes the third shot. Look where they are. Taylor is at the back of the court. Dawson is in the transition zone. Fifth shot. Look where they are. Taylor is at the back of the court. Dawson is in the transition zone. Seventh shot. Did not move up. Nice shots. That time, Dawson had to back up. And it's put away. Again, Dawson cannot handle Landon's power. Watch what happens here. And this is a mistake that I have seen um, Kenzie make a number of times. When she's at the non-volley zone, instead of taking the ball out of the air when a dink is going on, she backs up and lets the ball bounce. Watch right here. This shot right here. She could have taken that ball out of the air. Instead, she backed up, decided to take it off the bounce, and she hit it into the net. That was out of the court, barely. Nice try by Kenzie. Stuck at the back of the court again, transition zone, oh, and she misses the shot into the net. Ah, uh, that was out of the court. Three points, three points. 
Miss the return serve. It's just kind of interesting how Dawson and Taylor just could not move forward. It's another free point. Nine to four now. Kenzie and Landon are ahead. Can they close it out here in the second game? That's a great shot by Kinsey. Very nice point. Very patient. Landon got a ball that was hit a little bit too high. He was able to put it away. And there it is. Kenzie and Landon win the second game by the score of 11 to 4. They will now play a game to 15, winner take all. So I am going to go ahead and show that game because I want to see if Taylor and Dawson can figure out a way to better compete against Kenzie and Landon. I think in order to do so, they are going to have to do a better job of moving forward on the court. Nice job by Taylor. Popped up and she took advantage of it. Great job, Taylor. Ball falls in the court. Man, Landon almost got that. Come on, Taylor, move up. Nice job. Come on, put it away. Uh-oh, watch out. Taylor and Dawson were off to a good start until that happened, but they still have control of the ball. Nice job. Just hit a little bit too high. Goodbye. Just not a good effort by Kenzie on the third shot. Okay, so what's happening here now is that Taylor and Dawson are targeting Kenzie on the third shot. They are hitting the return of serves to her and making her hit him instead of having Landon drive the ball on the third shot. That's another third shot she hit into the net. So a change of strategy by Taylor and Dawson. Let's see if it works. Nice shot. Very nice by Taylor there. She gets Landon to pop this ball up. And her partner, Dawson, puts it away. Nice job. That ball is going to be out of the court. Oh, man. He had it. Nice reset. Put it away that time. Wow, just when the momentum was changing and Taylor and Dawson are starting to do really well, watch this third shot. Cannot move up. Watch this fifth shot. Just pop straight up. And you just have got to be able to hit shots that allow you to move forward. Again, another third shot by Kenzie into the net. Nice job by Taylor and Dawson making sure they return the serve to her. 
No, that's a very shallow return. Oh, that was in the court. Nice job there, Taylor. Hit it where Kinsey was not. Nice. She hung in there, got the seventh shot into the kitchen, but Kinsey and Landon win that exchange. Nice. Right down the middle. Nice job by Taylor. All right, Taylor and Dawson are out to a 6-1 to one lead. They lost the last two games. I mean, can you see what's going on here and how they are doing things a little bit differently? They are doing better with their third shots and their resets. They are getting to the kitchen line more frequently, and they are also trying to make sure they hit a return to serve to Kenzie and not Landon. And now Kenzie and Landon called a timeout to discuss things to see if they can get back on track. That's great. That is something they were not doing the first two games. There's not one third shot that Landon hit as well as he did on that last one. And look at that. See, this is what I'm talking about. One really great third shot. Let's take a look at it right here on the previous point. Watch this third shot. That is just perfect. They are able to move up. Now, watch the opposite of what happens here. Here comes another opportunity. It looks like it was in the same position as that other ball was, but look what he does. One good, one not so good. And that is just not good at all. That's a free point. Wow, that's two free points in a row that Taylor and Dawson have given to Kinsey and Landon. It totally kills their momentum and gives the momentum back to Kinsey and Landon. Look how shallow this return is. Yeah, so they were stacking, and Dawson just did not get back over in time. He's trying to cover the other side of the court. He just wasn't quick enough, and his return to serve was way too shallow. So it looks like Taylor and Dawson are going to call a timeout. They had all the momentum on their side. They hit two return to serves out of the court, giving Kinsey and Landon two free points. Then that really shallow return by Dawson and the fact that he didn't cover the court like he should have. That could be a big turning point in this match. But there's the unforced error right into the net. Nice shot. And there you go, Landon and Kinsey are just uh, talking things over again. And they give that point away. Another missed return of serve. Nice shot. Pop it up, get it slammed down your throat. Nice job. Third shot drop, a lot in the move forward. They're doing a much better job this game with those shots. There's another one. Still stuck at the back of the court. Didn't take advantage of that excellent third shot drop. I'll take it. That's a good shot right there. Not that one. Golly, nine to four. An opportunity to really run up the score, and he misses his serve. This game is blank, being played to 15. Even though the score is nine to four, in a game to 15, Anything can happen. So, Kinsey and Landon are definitely not out of this game. Yeah. 
Very nice. Wow, what happened? Foot fault. Nice job by him calling the foot fault. Most players do not do that. So good sportsmanship by Landon. Yep, stuck in the transition zone, could not defend. Great shot there by Kenzie. Nope. Oh, it's out of the court. Wow. So, this time, as you noticed, uh, Kenzie missed a lot of third shot drops into the net. So, this time she's going to drive the ball. But da da uh, Dawson is just waiting for it. Look where Landon is. He just was not able to move all the way forward. But he does a good job of stopping in the transition zone, doing a split step, sit at his feet, and he just can't get it over. Did a great job, just failed to get the ball over the net. Again, he got stuck in the center of the court. Good job right into the kitchen. That's something they are doing much better this game than they did the last two games. Oh, that was out of the court. I think at this point, Landon and Kenzie can kind of feel the game slipping away. They're trying to encourage each other. Nice third shot drop. Nope. Nice job by Dawson. Not so great by Taylor. Again, another third shot that just was not good enough, and it did not allow Taylor to move forward. I know I've shown this and explained this a number of times, but you got to get it into your head. If you cannot hit shots that allow you to move forward and you get stuck at the back of the court or in the transition zone, chances are you're not going to win the point. So let's go back and take a look again and watch what happens here. It's all about the third shot. Here it comes right here. She's able to take it out of the air and hit it at Taylor's feet in the transition zone. That's out of the court. That's a free point. That's two free points now that Taylor and Dawson have given away when they were up 12 to 6. Wow. Tried to hit it into Taylor's body, but she was smart enough to duck and let that ball fly out of the court. Barely out. Because of the two free points that Taylor and Dawson gave away by missing return of serves, this game has really tightened up. Out of the court. That power game uh, is not working for Landon as he has missed two of those power drives. And there's a return to serve. Wow, giving Taylor and Dawson the lead now, 13 to nine. Just a really bad time to miss a return of serve. Nice job. 14 to nine, just amazing how Taylor and Dawson have come back. And that's out of the court. Taylor and Dawson win the championship in the winner take all game by the score of 15 to nine. So there you have it. It's very clear what happened over a span of three games. Taylor and Dawson in the first two games did not do a very good job of hitting shots that allowed them to move forward. Because they were not successful at those shots, they got stuck in the transition zone or in the back of the court. However, in the third game, they did a much better job of hitting third shots 
and resets that allowed them to move forward. As a result, they took home the gold medal. That's it from Pickleball Pick Apart. I really hope you learned something from watching this video. And if you did, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. This is Rory saying, as always, thanks for watching and see you on the court.